It's mowing! Start. Whoop. So welcome back guys, and if you haven't already seen some of our latest videos, we've been testing out some of the new technology on the market. In particular, auto mowers or robotic mowers. James has already tested one. When I had the opportunity to do the video on the new Segway Navimo, I jumped at the chance. Tested by Machinery Nation. Right, so in front of me, I've got the Segway Navimo H1500. There is four models in the range, a 500, an 800, a 1500 and a 3000. Fundamentally, they're all the same machine, just got bigger batteries and will run for longer when you get up to the bigger ones. The only real difference is the 500 model has to work on Wi-Fi or has its data download and software downloads through the Wi-Fi. So you've got to have a good strong Wi-Fi signal throughout the garden. The rest of the range all run on satellite navigation, so RTK. So this machine is completely boundaryless, no wires. So having the RTK system is a craze at the moment and there's a lot of manufacturers jumping onto the bandwagon. But think of Segway as a robotic mower company making a mower, not a mower company making a robot. So they have got the technology already. They've waited a little while to come to the market and hopefully, fingers crossed, they've got it right. With the Segway Navimo, there's loads and loads of features built into it. So you've got cellular, you've got 4G, you've got the RTK, you've got Bluetooth, and you've got loads of safety features to make sure this machine is protected. You've also got the anti-theft features, so an audible alarm if it goes out of range. And also if it is picked up you can obviously then track your machine to where it's ended up to so what makes this a little bit different to the rest of the machines on the market is segway have designed a camera that is fitted to the front of the machine and this is called a vision fence this is an ai camera which will allow the machine to carry on running when the gprs or the satellite signals drop in and out so basically it acts as a boundaryless technology you don't need a physical boundary in front of it to actually then turn around and go the opposite way but then if you have got obstacles around your garden that you move around, it will sense it, go around the obstacle and carry on couple of other features that make this a really high quality machine. From the first onset and the first look, it's very, very heavy bit of kit. So it's weighted. You know that the quality of the build is going to be all there. You've got hub motors. So the motor isn't actually built into the chassis. It's built into the wheel itself. This makes it more powerful, stronger, gives you better grip on slopes. And also this machine will actually mow at 24 degrees or 45%. So it does do inclines fairly well. Like a lot of other mowers on the market, you've got the swing tip sort of raised are tip blades which will give you a really nice fine finish on the lawn these are allowed to just basically push back in if you had hit an obstacle it also gives it a very easy maintenance schedule you just brush off the grass and also allows the user to change the blades really really simply just undo the screw flip the blades over jobs are good so before we install this navi mode we're going to go through the top five questions we're asked as a channel when it comes to lawn mowers and robotics <laughs> number one would be is an auto mower or is a robotic mower expensive well yeah they are a little bit more expensive but they're going to be more expensive than your normal walk behind mower but when you compare it to what a ride on mower would cost they are very very similar you know the top end ones would be like a premium ride on tractor the smaller ones would probably be least well a little bit less expensive than if you bought an entry level ride on mower but what you've got to bear in mind is the actual saving in time in cost in fuel that you'll actually get with a robot mower and it will give you a very very good finish on your lawn all year round. So question number two would be, do robots actually work? Well, yes, they do. The proof is in the pudding. Europe or mainland Europe, most gardens would have a robotic mower. Now, I think it's something like 80 to 85% of gardens in mainland Europe do have a robot mower. So yes, they do work, but they have got to be right for your lawn. Number three, what actually happens to the grass clippings? I can't see a bag on it. Well, it's not designed to bag the grass. It's designed to cut the grass more regularly. Just chip off a little bit of top of the grass every time it passes. It'll give you a nice uniform finish put the nutrients back in give you a better root structure and all in all make the grass look a lot greener and number four which model would suit you best well like i said segway navi mows come in four different models so you've got the 500 800 1500 and 3000 which are dependent on the size of the lawn area up to 3000 meters squared so the model actually gives you the idea of what it will cope with the only difference is like i say is the size of the battery capacities and that the smaller one runs on wi-fi signal throughout the garden the other one's work on completely 4g or gprs to navigate and do the downloads off the cloud but on other brands obviously you have got wired versions and there will be areas in gardens where you just physically can't get good satellite signals or down in valleys or dips or anywhere like that so you're still 
going to have to go for that old school wired finish or you know you've got a real steep garden you know you're going to need a four wheel drive mower what the segway navi mower going to bring out next well hopefully they'll bring out a four wheel drive machine that will cope with a bigger garden area that will be the great thing and obviously this one the, well, the largest one will go up to 3,000 square meters so if they can develop something with a lot la lot larger battery and a lot quicker drive speed then they're going to be on to an absolute winner right so normally the last question we're asked is can i install it ourselves well on rtk systems yes they are very very easy but if you're going for a wired system still you generally will have to pay a specialist dealer to come in your garden you'll have to pay the labor and the wire to put in a machine and they will be more expensive because of that so this is why rtk is going by storm because you can buy it from a dealer you can take it home take it out of the box and set it up yourself they generally are pretty straightforward just open up your smartphone download the app and it's very very straightforward step by step so we're going to do that next see how easy it is to or hopefully how easy it is to uh, put a navi mow into the garden and then we're going to have a look at the results at the end of the video now we've got the mower installed as per the easy instructions on the app now it is time to map so we are going to now calibrate the mower calibration successful now let's start mapping so you have a little play oh so you see what you got is you got little controls there so you can actually control the mower and where it's going to just have a little play and it's always quite good if you actually can be behind the mower when you're plotting it now if you're used to like sort of game boy controls that is pretty much what it is so we need to get to our start Whoop. we need to get to our starting points right so let's just say this is the starting point so we'll go reach starting point let's run through it and get to the finish line right into there like so oh all right, gone off the line a bit there, so we'll just bring the eraser tool back, back it back. And that's the nice thing with this, you don't have to redo the whole map. You can literally, if you go off course, just bring it back to where you want to start off again. So nice and simple. Having that vision fence fitted does mean if you've got areas of the garden where the satellite or the GPS signal is not very good, that AI camera should keep the machine going um, if the signal is lost. done i've just made an off-limit zone i need to go over to the island now we're just going to simply just put a tire in the middle of the lawn just to show you so this could be a water fountain a feature anything like that so we're going to go reach starting point and we're just going to drive it around the edge god look at that control misspent youth that was wasn't it there we go tap done to finish Oh, it's off already. At least leave it to do its thing, and we'll see you in a bit. It's mowing! So what we were thinking, we're going to call it Sally Segway. That's right, Segway Sally. either going home or it's going to start mapping what are you doing there we go Reckon it's going to start the linear mowing now i reckon i'm hoping so yeah there we go so it's obviously thinking it's going to do this way i think So I thought we'd just pop down to the garden quickly just to check on the progress. We've had no faults, flash up or anything like that. And you can see on the app, it already tells me it's done 24 meters squared and it's done 8% of the uh, lawn area. So yeah, she's going well. There you go. And you can see where she's to on the lawn. She's spinning around now. She's doing a linear motion right in front of us. Um, and the, the highlighted gray is obviously the area that has been mowed already pretty neat three days later so let's welcome back sally segway and what a fantastic job she's already done she's been in the lawn for three days been absolutely faultless and has given a really really good finish what i really like about this product 
is how it changes its direction of cut. So it initially cut up and down the lawn. On its next cut on the Tuesday, it cut diagonally. And again, this morning when it was raining, it's cut on a slightly different angle again. Now, when I woke up this morning at about six o'clock, I had the rain sensor fault come up and it basically told me that mower has gone back to the docking station. So it sensed there was water on the transponders on the front of the mower there and it actually sent itself home so it wouldn't mow in the wet. But I wanted to give it that last cut before we'd done the video this morning. So I actually sent it out, I turned those rain sensors off and it's given a really, really good finish. We started off at 60 mil and we finished down on 40. So over the last three days, I've just brought it down slightly in height. And it's a really nice uniform finish. It's almost perfection, to be honest. I say this very little about products, but I would certainly have one myself. I am thoroughly impressed with it and Segway have done a great job. The only thing I would say about it is they really need to make a machine that is a lot bigger with coping with bigger areas. And please bring out a four wheel drive machine. I think it would be fantastic. So what would I do different with the install? I would move the antenna slightly, probably to the corner of the house that will give me better signal strength all the way through the garden what does segway do really really well well it's the ease of install it's the app everything is just easy to navigate and makes it an absolute breeze to use so there we go guys that is the segway navimo h1500 the third biggest machine in the range we hope you enjoyed the video i certainly had fun doing it if you've got any questions give us a call at machinery nation we're here to help or drop into your local dealer and they'll give you some expert advice we're machinery nation we bring you videos every tuesday and friday about tools and machinery like subscribe and we'll see you in the next one cheers